Welcome back to ABC 24 This Week. I'm Richard Ransom along with Otis Sanford, Deidre Malone, and Sam Hardiman. We're all talking about the mayor's race, and we alluded to it before the break. There was a, a mayoral candidate gathering, uh, meet and greet as they were calling it, uh, sponsored by the Young Democrats of Shelby County, uh, down at the Pocket downtown on Union Avenue. And one of uh, the candidates who showed up is the downtown, former downtown Memphis, uh, current, what am I saying? Got to get this right. Uh, the current downtown Memphis uh, chairman, uh, Paul Young, we also had uh, Van Turner, the former Shelby County Commissioner, and the guy on the far left there, uh, Judge Joe Brown, former judge uh, TV show host, counseled I might add, and he had was asked about the role of women and could a woman feasibly be uh, the uh, mayor of Memphis, and this is what he had to say. Some things men do real well, and one of the main problems is, I don't want to get crude about it, but some places you need to go to exercise leadership, some of the good ladies in here would get drugged into an abandoned apartment and raped. That's one of the problems. And you heard the groans there at the end. Deidre Malone, I'm sure you were one of those groaning. Oh, what's wrong with him, Richard? What's wrong with him? I mean, you know, you have a police chief that's a female, a fire chief that's a female, and women leaders across this country. I mean, it's just asinine for him to say something like that and offensive to the majority of the people that vote in Memphis and Shelby County who happen to be women. So um, please let's not mention his name again. You know, I promise this will be it. I, at least I hope so. Uh, Sam, uh, you were there as well. You were struck by, you mentioned the energy of the other two candidates. Do, let me ask you about, in the case of Joe Brown, do we as journalists need to reconsider whether just because somebody says something inflammatory like that, whether it needs to be in a headline or even needs to be in the story, when they're not a serious candidate? You know, I, we had a serious conversation this morning when we were talking about how we would cover what was said last night. Um, and we were back and forth, my editor and I in the newsroom, and we ended up writing about it and reflecting the comment because it happened. But I think, you know, the question you asked me, Richard, is a great one in the sense of in this country, in this day and age, where incendiary things are literally 140 characters or 240 characters, whatever it is away, right? And you can just say things. What is the duty of the media? You know, in the past, no one would have seen that comment unless we had published it on the air or, or on, you know, in print. And today we don't have that same monopoly power on publishing. And so, you know, what, what should we do? And, and I'm sort of conflicted, but just because you're running for office and saying, you know, really have seen things that are chauvinistic doesn't mean you weren't covered going forward. Your thoughts, Otis? Uh, yeah, and I'm going to talk about this from a standpoint of uh, journalism ethics, because that's what I teach, uh, Rich. And, and I think Sam hit on what we're talking about here. Uh, this was said in a public setting, so a lot of people heard it. And some of them, no doubt, put it out on social media, because Sam is right. We don't have a monopoly on dissemination of news. So um, you had to report it, uh, because it is news. And he is a public official, I mean, a public figure. He's no longer a public official. Um, but in reporting it, we should also condemn it. Uh, and that's what Deidre is doing. That is what I have done. That's what you did. Uh, we should all condemn this and, and, and vow that uh, we are not going to give this guy any kind of airtime or treat him uh, in any way uh, as a credible candidate here. I think he does need some help. Uh, I think he needs some kind of um, a mental help here because uh, he said this just to get some reaction. Uh, even the apology that I think Tory Harris gave uh, at the end of the event on behalf of, 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 of the people who put it on, he came back and said, oh, get over it. Uh, so he's only trying to get some attention. We should not, and I've said this before, don't give him any credibility in this race because he's not a credible candidate. Well, and Memphis has a history of, of gadflies, right, that run for mayor especially. I don't know what's the attraction of that office, but there is that history there, whether it be Prince Mongo, I could go on and on. But to me, it's different this time. Yeah. Uh, it's more serious. This race is more serious. You've got some very serious candidates running. Right. Uh, they all want to do what's best for the city. He's just in it for the show. It's very obvious he has no chance of winning. It'd be one thing if Floyd Bonner said something outrageous like that, which he never would. True. But uh, it seems to me when you're not, you don't have even re a realistic chance of making a dent uh, in the campaign that there's just no nothing accomplished well, by Well, and I'd even add well, one other quick thing here, Richard, and I just think that um, it was incumbent upon the young Democrats who probably should have known who they were dealing with. This is not the first time he said things that are very outlandish here. 
Uh, and I would have questioned whether I would have even invited him in the first place. Uh, or if I were Van Turner uh, and Paul Young, I would have questioned whether I wanted to be on the stage with this guy. And I probably would not have if I were running. You see, Michelle McKissick uh, didn't show up and, and Floyd Bonner didn't show up. Uh, I would not have shown up at this race. I think you make a good point there. I think it's a, a responsibility of the candidates, too, to say, I'm only going to have a serious conversation here. And if you feel obliged as the sponsoring organization to invite everybody, that's uh, that's on you, that's but I'm not you. showing up. I'm not going. I'm not going to be there. Okay, that's I don't right. want to belabor this, but uh, we'll move on. But uh, I think we all made our point there.